Hey! Have you ever tried swimming? Yes, I have. I'm actually quite passionate about it. I find swimming to be a great form of exercise and a refreshing way to cool off in the summer. How about you? I've only swum a few times, but I enjoyed it. I'm not very confident in the water, though. That's completely understandable. Swimming can be intimidating at first, especially if you're not used to being in the water. However, with practice and proper guidance, you can become more comfortable and gain confidence. That's true. Any tips for a beginner like me? Of course. First, start by getting comfortable in the water. Practice floating and getting used to the sensation of being buoyant. Gradually work on your kicking and arm movements. It's also essential to practice proper breathing techniques while swimming. Breathing seems challenging while swimming. How do you manage it? It can be tricky at first, but it becomes easier with practice. The key is to exhale while your face is in the water and inhale when you turn your head to the side. Take it slow and find a breathing pattern that works best for you. I'll keep that in mind. What are the benefits of swimming? Swimming provides a wide range of benefits. It's a low-impact exercise that works your entire body. It helps improve cardiovascular fitness, builds muscular strength and endurance, and enhances flexibility. Swimming is also great for relaxation and stress relief. That sounds fantastic. Is there a specific swimming stroke you recommend for beginners? For beginners, I suggest starting with the freestyle stroke, also known as the front crawl. It's the most common and easiest stroke to learn. Once you feel more confident, you can explore other strokes like breaststroke, backstroke, and butterfly. I'll give the freestyle stroke a try. Are there any safety precautions to consider while swimming? Absolutely. Safety should always be a priority. Make sure to swim in designated areas with lifeguards, especially if you're not a strong swimmer. It's also crucial to be aware of your surroundings, avoid swimming alone, and never push your limits or swim in hazardous conditions. Good advice. How often do you swim? And where do you usually go? I try to swim at least three times a week. I have a membership at a local swimming pool, which has designated lanes for lap swimming. It's a convenient and safe place to practice. I also enjoy swimming in natural bodies of water like lakes or the ocean when I have the opportunity. Swimming in nature sounds amazing. I should explore more swimming spots. Is there any gear I need to swim comfortably? A few essentials include a well-fitting swimsuit or swim trunks, a pair of goggles to protect your eyes, and a swim cap to keep your hair out of your face. If you're planning on swimming for fitness, you might also consider investing in a kickboard or swimming fins to assist with specific exercises. Thanks for the suggestions. I'll make sure to get the necessary gear. Is there anything else I should know? Well, it's important to listen to your body and take breaks when needed, especially if you're new to swimming. Don't be discouraged by initial challenges, progress takes time. Most importantly, enjoy the experience and have fun in the water. I appreciate all the advice and encouragement. I'm feeling more excited to give swimming another try. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Remember, swimming is not only a great workout but also a skill that can bring joy and relaxation. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any more questions. Thank you for your support. I'll definitely reach out if I have more questions. By the way, do you participate in any swimming competitions or events? Yes, I do. I've participated in several local swimming competitions.
They're a great way to challenge myself and gauge my progress. It's always exciting to compete and be surrounded by other passionate swimmers. That sounds thrilling. How do you prepare for competitions? Preparation involves a combination of physical training and mental readiness. I follow a structured training program that includes endurance workouts, speed drills, and technique refinement. Additionally, I focus on maintaining a balanced diet and getting enough rest to ensure my body is in optimal condition for the competition. It sounds like a lot of dedication and hard work. How do you handle pre-competition nerves? Pre-competition nerves are completely normal, even for experienced swimmers. I manage them by developing a pre-race routine that helps me stay focused and calm. Deep breathing exercises, visualization techniques, and positive self-talk are some strategies I use to overcome nervousness and boost confidence. That's helpful advice. I'll keep that in mind if I ever decide to compete. Have you achieved any notable accomplishments in swimming? I'm proud to say that I've achieved a few personal milestones. I've earned medals in regional competitions and even qualified for a few national level events. It's incredibly rewarding to see the hard work pay off and witness improvements in my performance. That's impressive. Congratulations on your achievements. Is there a particular swimming memory that stands out for you? Thank you. One of my most memorable swimming experiences was participating in an open water race across a lake. It was challenging, yet incredibly exhilarating. The scenic surroundings, the camaraderie among swimmers, and the sense of accomplishment upon reaching the finish line made it an unforgettable event. That sounds like an amazing adventure. I can only imagine the thrill of completing such a race. Are there any famous swimmers who inspire you? Definitely. There are many renowned swimmers who have left a lasting impact on the sport. Michael Phelps, for instance, is a legendary swimmer who has achieved remarkable success in the Olympics. His dedication, perseverance, and record-breaking performances inspire me to constantly push my own limits. Michael Phelps is truly inspiring. His achievements are awe-inspiring. Do you have any future goals or aspirations in swimming? Absolutely. I have a few goals I'm working towards. One of them is to compete at the national level and represent my country in swimming. I also aspire to become a certified swimming instructor one day, so I can help others develop their skills and passion for swimming. Those are fantastic goals. I have no doubt you'll achieve them. Swimming has so much to offer, both in terms of personal growth and enjoyment. It's been great talking to you about it. Thank you for your kind words. It's been my pleasure discussing swimming with you. Remember, whether you're swimming for fun, fitness, or competition, it's an activity that can bring you joy and a sense of accomplishment. If you ever need more guidance or want to share your progress, feel free to reach out. Happy swimming!